Hey guys, Liverlinks here. Today I wanted to do a review of Kakegurui. I wanted to make this as soon as I finished it, which was a while back now, but here we are now. I am in love with this anime, and hopefully soon going to be watching the second season. In my opinion, this is a series I would highly recommend to any anime fans that don't mind something intense, somewhat sexual, and as insanely addictive as gambling itself. I legitimately sat down and binged the entire series in a single day because I couldn't look away. This anime is all about gambling, and while I don't know much about gambling myself, despite being 18, um, I mean, I could go out and gamble, but I haven't, and I don't know how to play a lot of gambling games such as poker or anything along those lines, I still found myself enthralled with this anime. The intense side to gambling displayed in this anime, where even individuals' lives can be on the line, makes it a very unique watch. Ryota is supposedly the main character sort of figure, but really the show seems to be more focused on Yumiko and her gambling addiction. Ryota is just a relatively generic figure that doesn't do a whole lot until the end. However, I hope his character will improve by season 2 since he actually seemed pretty involved by the final episode of Kakegurui. Yumeko also seemed to take an immediate interest in him, and I ship the two a lot. It seems like she may have a little bit more of an interest in him than just friendship. And I think it would be a really cool plot point if the two of them got together, but of course in a show about gambling, I would be happy if it were just added in there while not being a focal point. Regardless of if any characters got together or not, since that isn't the point of the show and isn't what makes me love it so much, let's just move on. Aside from the intense gambling games that keep everyone on their toes and the constant cheating, the show is also interesting since Yumeko is presented as being a very intelligent character. Unlike anime that treats some of the main characters like imbeciles that are easily tricked and need everything explained for them, Kakegurui chooses to shy away from this trope. While Ryota does sort of take on this naive role, acting as the unknowing bystander, sort of filling in as like a character counterpart of the audience trying to figure out what's going on since th they, I guess, don't have the brain power? or at least he's treated like that. Yumeko, on the other hand, is aware of every trick her opponent tries to pull and is able to come up with a counter. It's refreshing to have a fight between two intelligent opponents with the protagonist and antagonist at odds and having a very even match of brain power versus brain power. Rather than the usual portrayal of one being completely clueless as to the other opponent's strategy and their opponent just totally taking advantage of them without them even having a chance. Despite constant cheating on the parts of the characters to the point where you know that pretty much every episode somebody's going to be cheating at some form of game, it doesn't get dull because... Each of the ways that they choose to cheat is interesting. You know that they have to be doing it, but you aren't sure how, and figuring that out makes it a really unique, complex story. It's also just as entertaining to see what Yumiko will do to thwart her opponents and see how many steps she's planned ahead for. It's truly just a great showdown, and... Kakegurui just always finds a way to be a little bit different and keep you wondering, and just everything about it in that way draws me in. Yumeko has honestly become one of my favorite anime characters. In fact, all of the characters in the show seem decently fleshed out despite how many of them there are. Each of them has unique motivations and quirks that make them likable, even though each of them has a severe gambling addiction and need for power. In fact, one of my favorite characters, aside from Yumeko, is on the student council, and she is just absolutely insane. She kind of gets off on the concept of death, and just because so many of these characters are so twisted and different from anything that you'd ever expect, 
I just love them. They aren't what I'm used to looking at. They all have a horrible side to their personalities, but they still find a way to be very likable. You want to root for some of them despite the flaws that they have. And it's just one of my favorite things about this entire show. I also absolutely love the art style of the entire thing. Each of the characters is pretty insane, honestly, in their own ways. Something I love, since I think the mindsets of crazy characters, like Yandere's for example, is something really foreign and fun to examine. Anything that's different from a regular mindset is something very appealing to me. I like watching shows like Murder Investigations because I think it's fun, in a way, to try and understand what is so different about a person that they would want to make certain decisions that you wouldn't find typical. Such as these characters being so gambling obsessed. What makes them have this need for power? What gives them this thrill? What makes them so crazed to gamble or have this power over other people's lives? It just draws me in because I want to figure out why each of these characters acts the way that they do. Every character is obsessive in some sort of way about a particular topic, and so, of course, they make a variety of crazy expressions to demonstrate their emotions. This is something Kakegurui does really well. I am in love with the twisted, dramatic expressions of the characters, and think it does a good job of showing just how dog-eat-dog -dog their academy is. Everyone is competing for some sort of standing within the school, and many characters seem obsessed with the concept of being able to control the lives of other people, something that the student council in particular seems to have a real control over something that they can manipulate very easily with the whole system of the academy. With everything riding on how good you are at gambling, you have to have a lot of luck, strategy, and even some cheating strategies on your side. The suspense of the show, and even some of the unanswered questions regarding motives by the end of it all, makes the first season seem so good, and make me eager to begin on the second season. Unlike other reviews, there are many things I don't want to spoil here because I genuinely just want people to feel the thrill of watching this anime blind and hopefully fall in love with it just like I did. Kakegurui is one of those anime I watch and become super obsessed with, wanting any merchandise I can find, looking for all kinds of fan art, and wanting to discuss with people about. It's also the type of anime that gets me feeling some type of way to the point where I don't want to watch any other shows after it for a while. After I finished Kakegurui, I didn't immediately jump into another series like I usually would because I was still so caught up in the concept of Kakegurui. I would really love to read the manga and maybe even own it myself at some point. I want to consume every part of Kakegurui possible. It is also worth mentioning if you are interested, as briefly mentioned before, the show does have several sexual aspects, such as the aforementioned character that kind of gets off on the concept of death. There is one particular scene in the bathroom I can think of that some people might think is a lot, but I'm just used to at this point. <laughs> Gambling is a turn-on for some of these characters, and there are lots of sexual depictions related to this. If you're an anime fan, I am willing to bet this aspect of anime does not really bother you, but if it does, then maybe this isn't the show for you after all. For me, this is a combination of many aspects I really love and strongly recommend to anyone. If you feel any interest to watch this at all, you definitely should. With that being said, I'll leave things here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you will tune in for more of my videos, and I am open to any suggestions as usual, of course. And so, like and subscribe for more content, and I hope to see you guys again. Bye!